All right, boys and girls. So the first step to what we're doing is to choose a tracer. Now I went ahead and I cut a few of them that you can be creative with, but you can also make up your own. So if you have an idea for an animal, a creature, a character, and you don't see a tracer that fits the shape, I'm gonna show you how you can change it. So let's say I wanted to make, for this project, I'm gonna make a dog, but there's no tracer that has a dog with floppy ears. So I'm going to pick this blank one that does not have any ears, and I'm gonna start with a piece of scrap paper. Any piece of regular scrap paper um, from your sketchbook will do. Okay, so you're gonna make your own template first on the scrap paper. Okay, so what I went ahead and did was I just added the ear shapes and now I am going to cut out that tracer and I am going to then use it on the yellow fabric. Okay, so there's my tracer. Now one thing that you can do to make sure that your project is symmetrical, I like to fold right along the middle. And then you'll notice, yeah, it's a little bit uneven. So I like to fold it and then just trim it so that there is symmetry for my finished design. Okay, so I folded it, I trimmed it, and now I have a template that I can use for this dog. You'll notice that it's a little bit wide. He's looking a little chubby, but when you stuff and sew your project. It's actually gonna get a little bit skinnier. It's gonna shrink a little bit. You see that, how it's a little bit smaller? So it should look a little bit wider than you would want. Once you've decided on a tracer, whether it's one of the ones I have or whether it's one that you made, you are then going to grab a marker and you are going to trace two of them onto felt. All right, now that I have two that are the same shape and size, we are gonna grab our scissors and we are going to cut these out. All right, so now I've got my two identical shapes, the front and back. We are going to learn how to thread the needle and add a little detail before we continue. So at this point, I want you to grab your felt, grab your paper, think of what design you'd like to make, and then we'll move on to video number two. See you soon.